What's up guys? It's a passage here with another Hero Factory breakout review, this time on Thornax. Yes, it's been a while, but remember, I do live in the US, so I'm finally getting breezed on Thornax. Alright, so ages are 6 to 12, item number is 6228 in 44 pieces. It shows Breeze over there, but remember, Breeze isn't the only one being advertised. Take Thornax out of the big picture, will ya? Please. And then look, there's more Thornaxes! Thumbs up. And there are 200 game points for this guy. And a little picture of Thornax on top, while his head. Alright, so the back has actually a very menacing looking picture of Thornax's head without the blaster in it. Which is pretty surprising that it looks menacing since it's really just a rack mix head. Okay, what this should be is like Thornax plus Hero Factory again. Mm. Code and stuff onto your computer equal more points so you can get um what is it what is it what is it I cannot remember oh yeah so you can upgrade your hero and stuff but it shows black fan like breaking out and it shows, shows Thornax or Ethnix I think that's how you pronounce it and how to shoot his blaster thing all right now let's open this guy up. Alright, woohoo. Did I get it? Did I get it? I think I got it. Okay, I got it. And we got the most weird opening ever. Okay, this is really just not opening well. I keep opening it like that. Opening it. Not open. I'm just gonna switch the tripod to the mini tripod. And um, something surprising fell out. This, that a sign up sheet for the little thing for the Lego Club magazine. Well, I am already signed up, so this is useless to me. So something random here. I'll look at it later. So this is pretty much useless unless if you're not a Lego Club. And this is how you sign up. All right, let's take a look at the instructions. The online game. All right, I have a story for you guys. One day I was playing the Hero Factory online game. I was playing the Thornax level trying to find some of the blueprints and stuff. And I got bored. So I said, hey, why, why don't I just try to kill myself? So I tried to kill myself. It glitched. It literally showed this completely different thing. And I was just running there. It's really annoying and crazy. Okay, so now I'm just giving you a chance to look at this and stuff. In the back, we have the combo. Thornax plus breeze equals this thing. Okay. Definitely probably not going to be building that. And Breeze versus Thornax. Again, more Breeze and Thornax together. 21 pages. That's actually pretty decent. Any other stuff good? Nope. Alright, now let's take a look at the parts. Alright, so here we have parts. Now let me just show you basics. Since we have this. I don't even know what to call these. Um, this. I still don't know what to call them. We have thigh joints. And these... I'm showing these because these are awesome. Wow, so many stuff I missed that on. More light blue colored hand now. These are also very cool. Black colored Inferno 3.0 wing. Black colored Arachnix head. Alright, two of these. Very, very useful. Uh, these we haven't seen in a while. Gorus wings, orange tubes, nice, um, what are, I don't even know what to call those, but they're for his eyes. We have three of those. And, Technic parts? Quasi spike. Hmm. Alright, now let's build it. Alright, so here's Thorax all built up. Now, I'm just going to show you his wings pretty quickly. Well, you have to see one of them. If I put this here. You can see or not. I, I can't see the camera. Okay. You guys can see them. It's pretty hard to see them because it's the way they're made. You can actually kind of see them. Cool. Alright, let me show you him. 
Well, we actually don't know if it's him or not. Um, he has a lot of random lime blue, which actually doesn't bother me because it kind of works with him. And the way he stands is really just because of these, his Inferno 3.0 black blades, and this closet spray. Or closet mask. In this case, so it's actually like a poison stinger. I can't remember. You, the Thornax actually looks very menacing, which is actually the surprising thing, since this Thornax is more of a bug. Alright, the things about Thornax, um, interesting build. It's kind of hollow, like if you look underneath it, it's just like, what? And if you look on top of it, also like, what? But, what I do like about him, is this little pole thing, so you actually kind of can fly him because you can move his wings a little bit off to the side and you can just go like wee I'm a kid I'm having fun woohoo something like that but that's only if uh, you guys actually want to I don't know but you could probably do that yeah your decision not mine okay so Thornrock some Red eyes, like everything about this guy actually stands out for whatever reason. Even though the random line blue stands out. Has a lot of, um, seen before. Has barely any actually new pieces. Which is just a sad thing. But also a lot of good reused pieces. And like these wings. Those wings just seem so long. Been what four years? Yeah, four years. He hasn't seen them since four years. That's crazy. And seriously, that's just crazy. I think that they would have used them in one of the first lines of Hero Factory, like someone in the first line of Hero Factory, but nope. Okay, on to like things. Alright, so. I think this is the first time I've actually seen a bug like villain, because I'm pretty sure that bug wouldn't really qualify. But I have to say, I don't even know what this would, rec would really try to resemble. It's actually pretty cool. Thornax is one of the better villains for sure. The worst is probably someone like Jawblade. Ugh. Hate Jawblade. Alright, so let's just go to ratings. Because there's actually no one to compare Thornax with, sadly. But Thornax, I, let me just say one thing. Thornax looks ready to fight Breeze. I'm pretty sure Breeze is a veteran, so. Okay. Let me just point this out now. Because I don't want to really hear any of this in the comments. Why don't you say anything about the tubes and stuff? The tubes actually don't bother me. Um, but I sure they will li later on. So you can take the tubes off. Because some people just say the tubes are just random. They don't need to be there. I don't really care. So, but if I had to rate this set, I'd probably have to give it the 10 out of 10. Because this guy is just awesome. I mean, for a breakout set, it's actually pretty good. Since it's one of the ones from Breakout and one like Doombox. We have really good guys like Stringer and um, Core Hunter and Bulk and all those guys. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time with whatever.